Hi guys, Axo Rider here. Now, chain maintenance, um, and this week it's all about how I do it. I use WD-40 chain wax. I find it brilliant stuff. It's for all weathers, rain, the whole lot, and I tend to find that it's the easiest stuff to use, and also it, it's got anti-fling properties. So this is how I apply it. Okay, so straight into it, outside we've got two rubber rings called O-rings. They separate the inner link. Then we've got the pin going straight through the middle of those links and a roller in the centre. What I normally do is I use some plaster balls or drywall to um, protect the tyre from getting sprayed on. And what that does then is when I spray it, as you'll see here, you can see that the plasterboard is evaporating the degreasant spray so if that was wood it would have just dripped down below but this stuff is great for soaking up most of the oil and the degreasant that you spray onto it as you can see so I'm just cleaning it off now spinning the wheel as I go spraying on the chain cleaner amazing how quick this stuff gets rid of all that thick grease and uh, dirt Okay, now this is the rag which is doused in chain cleaner. Quick interjection, I am not using a chain brush because I find that chain brushes tend to shove the dirt around as opposed to actually removing it. So that's why I use a rag. It's up to you how you do it, that's just how I do it. Okay, and what that's doing is getting rid of the next lot of dirt, the stuff that is more grimed into the actual chain itself. So I'm spraying it. And I'm putting it on the actual chain, on the rollers, feeling the rollers go round in my left hand. Straight on there again and spinning around. Now, I've got a clean towel and I'm spinning it and I'm getting all that grease off now, all of that old chain cleaner. Because what we don't want is any chain cleaner on the actual chain when I put the new wax oil on there. I keep spinning it and this has got to be 100% right, okay? You've got, you've got to get all of that chain cleaner off. Get the gloves on, ready for oiling. <laughs> Cut a clean section of rag off. Spray it up with the WD-40 chain wax. Spray my hand in it with the glove on, of course. And then this is how I do it. I spray up my um, rubber glove and I just put it on the chain and just spin the wheel around. And I can feel what contact points are being properly waxed then. So now I'm doing the rollers. I can feel the rollers go around in my hand. I've done the outside uh, of the chain and the inside of the chain. So we'll just do a bit more of that, like so. Like I say, if, if you spray it, then you end up in a right pickle. So that's why I do it like this. Right, that's all done now. This has been about a 10 minute job overall. I'm just checking my rear sprocket, check it's not like shark's teeth there. And uh, that seems fine. I've only done 3000 miles on this bike anyway, so I'm not expecting it to be any different. We can see the chain looks like new there now. Looks really good. So normally I wouldn't need to actually degrease the chain, but because the existing person used really thick oil, um, I prefer to use this stuff. So I had to get rid of the old stuff before I put the, the chain wax on. So there we go. Right, let's start it up and let the wheel spin. And that's going to let the chain wax work into the links then and the main pin. Just let that spin for a couple of minutes and it's good to go. Thanks 
for watching, guys, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. It would be much appreciated. And I will see you next week.